Hello my fellow Lycans, newcomers, and passerbys, and welcome back to Atlas. And today we're going to be doing another tutorial, and today's tutorial is going to be about water and how to get it. So you can quench your thirst whenever you need to. Let's roll right into it. And when you're playing a pirate game, you're going to be surrounded by oceans, and obviously you cannot drink salt water, because salt water will cause you to dehydrate and die faster. And in this game, you definitely can't drink salt water anyways. So one of the, one of the ways you can obtain water is by waiting for a storm. When the rain falls, your hydration goes up. And this is one of the easiest ways to obtain water. But the only problem with this is that you have to wait for it to actually rain. Another way to obtain water, especially when you spawn at the free port, is to find some very, very green, green grass. Now, it can't be yellow grass, it can't be sand, it's got to be green grass right here. You want to go ahead and lay down by pressing X, and then just left click, and it will pop up a minigame. If you lose the minigame, you won't get any water. Now, you have a total of three tries. The first try, if you win the first time in the minigame, you get... 20 water. If you win the second time, you get 40. If you win the third time, you'll get 60 hydration, 60 water. Now you want to go ahead and drink that or put that in your water pouch. The water spout is a very great way to obtain water, especially very early on in the game. The problem with this method though is once you drain the water spout, you're going to have to wait because there's going to be a timer until you can access the ground again to obtain another water spout. Now another way you can obtain water in this game is by going to an island and finding an island that actually has a water, fresh water source on the island, such as this one. You can go ahead and drink the water from the pool and hydrate yourself very easily without wasting any water whatsoever. You can also use this for farming and any of the other great things that you'll need it for. Oh, and to fill your pouch. Another great way to obtain water is with a shovel. I'll show you how to craft a shovel after I show you how to get water with the shovel. The shovel is basically the same thing as the water spout. You look at the ground and you begin to dig. The digging will give you a play bar so you can play a mini game. And depending on how many times you win that mini game, depends on how much water you will obtain. Hit it three times, I get 600 water. You definitely get more water from using a shovel to dig up a water spout than you do your own hands. I also forgot to mention, in order to dig with a shovel, you have to be in green grass and just touching the beach. That is how you obtain water with a shovel. Now in order to make a shovel, first off, you'll have to get the tools of trade, and once you get the tools of trade, you'll have to get the advanced tools. Advanced tools will give you the ability to have a shovel, and a smithy. Now you cannot make a shovel without a smithy so you must build the smithy first and once you have the smithy you can put the materials in the smithy in order to build a shovel. In order to build a shovel you're going to need six metal, ten thatch, and eighteen wood and then you'll have yourself a shovel. Now those are all the ways now that's now those are all the ways now those are all the ways that you can obtain water in Atlas. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit a like. No. Now I'm not going to go into the ways you can store water, but there are ways you can build barrels and reservoirs in order to store water so that way you guys will have water both on your ships and on your land bases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was very helpful. If you guys did, go ahead and hit a like because it will show me that these videos are very helpful and very informative. Other than that, you guys enjoy your day and I'm out.